Hello and welcome to Top Sniffs. I'm Matt and cheers that click. Hope you're doing well. Well, today I'm quite excited. This has come through the post. I got it in the week and I've been really looking forward to testing it out and trying them for the first time. I've heard a lot of good things about this house, but I've not smelt any of them and I've not seen any notes, so I'm really interested. I think I've mostly heard about the uh, City on Fire and Memories of a Trespasser. So I thought I'll run through this, give you my first impressions of this sample box, and I'll tell you what I think. So this is going to be completely first impressions. So I got this in the post this week. and You've got a uh, little block. And there you go. You've got eight samples, two mil each of each one. Yeah, I say I've only heard about the City on Fire and Memories of Trespasser, so I'm really interested to see what the rest of the uh, fragrances are like because it's the first time I've uh, smelt any of them. So I'll go through each one. I've got a few tester strips, so I'll put them on here and uh, yeah, just tell you what I think. So what I'll do is I'll go through from the top shelf down to the bottom shelf. I'll say I'm very impressed with the whole box that came through, this sort of layout, book type form with the cardboard and the shelf in there. Really impressed with that. But yeah, just really excited just to see what they're like. So start with the first one. We've got Every Storm a Serenade. So very interested to see. Absolutely no idea what they're going to smell like. I'll put on a test strip to start off with. Mm. Nice, I like it. It's a good one. Yeah, every storm of serenade. It's very woody, quite green. Um, bit of brininess, so salty. Salty, slightly marine seaweedy. But no, very pleasant. It does remind me a little bit of the um, sort of Acres of Palmers type thing. Very clean, very fresh. Nice. I think a good, probably spring summer scent. So yeah, good start. I like that one. Not too sure how well it do on my skin because the... Um, the uh, seaweedy ones tend to go a little bit too salty for me, but no, I'll be, yeah, I'm just looking forward to trying these on skin out actually. But no, for now, I'll stick to the tester strips. Do the next one. We've got, I'll try and go through these as quick as possible. The next one is Saint Juliet. Saint Juliet, there you go. How we look on this one? Ooh, very sweet, really sweet. It's got a uh, green mintiness to it. Boozy. Yeah, it's definitely boozy. So I don't know if um, St. Juliet was a drinker, but yeah. Very sweet, very sugary, boozy, sort of whiskey, whiskey bourbon. Probably more of a autumnal winter sense, maybe. I don't know. I have to, I have to see what they do on skin. But okay, interesting. Right. Oh, well, yeah, nice. So far, impressed. Now, this one, yeah, this one I have heard quite a bit about. A city on fire. So, see how this one goes. Probably the most, uh, most interesting one, unique one. Ooh, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> That's quite good, actually. That is quite good. 
I've got, firstly, really tangy barbecue sauce note to it. Sweet, sort of tangy, rich, spicy barbecue sauce. I'd eat almost like gourmand, tasty, almost. Edible, definitely. Oh, you do get the um, the charcoal notes on this one and woods, but a really quite a pleasant, sweet, sweet, smoky barbecue tang to it. Yeah, woods, charcoal. But no, actually, you know, that's I would say for me, that's wearable. Yeah, but definitely cooler weather, you know, probably not the right season at the minute, but yeah. Nice, again, interesting. What have we got now? Cape Hardake, Cape Hardake, there you go. I have heard Todd talk about this one, so, but not as much as the others. Ooh. Green. Very green, woody, pine, herbal, pine resin, herbal. Mmm, very nice. Sort of um, almost moss, damp, like a damp moss. This reminds me of springtime, definitely. Sort of fougere-ish barber shop. Very wearable. Yeah, definitely wearable. I like that one. Cape Hardake. Very nice. Yeah, again, another winner. Right, we're on to the bottom shelf now. So we've done the uh, done the top shelf. Slow explosions. There you go. Ooh, that. That reminds me of ombre leather. Straight away, I was just trying to think what it reminded me of then, but yeah. If you smell ombre leather, for me, that is close to it. It's not the same, it's definitely close to it. You've got... Leather notes, um, definitely a bit of saffron, rose. Uh, there's a fruity note, so raspberry, I think they're using it. Sort of raspberry, apple -y. Almost like a fruit pie. But yeah, the, the saffron, the rose, the leather. And it does, it does remind me of... Um, ombre leather. By Tom Ford, so yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's not the same. It's definitely different, but it reminds me of that one. Okay, didn't expect that one. Ah, right, here we go. Probably the most famous one that I've heard of. Memories of a Trespasser. But again, I have seen a few reviews of this one. And I have seen it online, but I've not smelt it in person. So we'll uh, have a spray. Wow, that's sweet, that is. Very sweet. Um, yeah. It's rich vanilla. Woods, definitely some woods in there, some sort of resin. It does remind me a little bit of Christmas with this sort of rich vanilla custody type fragrance. I mean, especially off the paper. It's got a slight waxiness to it. It's not sort of overly sweet. It's rich, deep vanilla. 
woods resin very indulgent a den sort of Grimond type fragrance I could see myself wearing that in winter and autumn definitely evening time I'd say but yeah pleasant very pleasant I can see why a lot of talk about this one very nice especially if you like vanilla fragrances this would be one to go for and one to try nice very nice okay getting through it now two more left we've got yesterday's haze there you are penultimate one Ooh, fig definitely fig straight away very nice I do like fig and fragrances creamy creamy rich fig um, tonka so it's like a sweet fig tonka clean woods fresh um, Very nice, very clean, fresh, mass appealing, very wearable. Spring, summer, definitely. Yesterday Haze, interesting name. No, another good fragrance. I like that one as well. I think so far, not one of them has been disappointing, to be honest. I say, first impressions, I don't know what it's like on skin. So I'm looking forward to wearing them for the whole day and seeing what they're like. Last one. Sun drunk. Good name, I like it. Alright. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Very fresh. White florals straight away. Clean. Hmm. Yeah. Neroli, orange, orange blossom. Yeah, sun drunk, so definitely with the name, summer holidays. Uh, rhubarb note, maybe? Or some sort of citrus. But yeah, clean, fresh, summertime. Lovely. But yeah, really nice. I think a good good summer clone with that one but no I yeah all of them are really nice so looking forward to seeing what they do on skin and uh, yeah should be interesting and see what the performance is like that's going to be another thing most of them tend to have quite a punch so I assume they do well on the skin a good longevity but no really really impressed really liking the presentation and uh, yeah Looking forward to seeing what else they do. So, thanks for the uh, watching the first impressions. Hope you found it interesting. I've enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to this fragrance house. Hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt. You've been watching Top Sniffs. Cheers.